Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I use Google Chrome. I've been using it for probably a year, year and a half now. Uh, it finally got to the point where it was fast and stable uh, and uh, it had the features that I want. In fact, my, my number one favorite feature of Google Chrome, and you guys may disagree, you may have another number one feature, you're free to comment, uh, is the ability to sync everything across sessions. Whether I'm using a Mac OS X or uh, Windows or whatever, I can synchronize just about everything. And I love that, I mean, including applications. So recently, Google's done a pretty good job at letting you know when a web page is loading insecure content. Now, I don't know if that means that the content lacks self-esteem, uh, which is a possibility. I mean, you could be reading a page that's very emo in nature. Um, you might be emo. I don't, this, is my, this is my version of emo on the fly there. It's supposed to be my hair. I, I make a horrible emo. Oh, I'm emo, all right, just not that kind of... E anyway, uh, there is a warning message that may pop up towards the top. It says, warning, this page has insecure content. If you are looking for a way to stop this from, let's say, always loading every time you go to Gmail or a particular web page and you can't figure out why, it could be an extension. So the easiest way to troubleshoot this is by opening up the console, and we've, again, if you look in the show notes, we've got a link to, you know, it's got the full description of exactly what's going on, why they're doing it, why it's important, and most importantly, how exactly to disable it. Using the console, you're going to be able to uh, save yourself uh, some headaches. Uh, you know, I would say that most of the problems that I experience within Google Chrome are not caused by Chrome itself or, or you know, really any other web browser that I might try. It's usually the extensions that I have installed. They're doing something that they, they shouldn't do. Extensions aren't perfect. Uh, so you could go through using the console, I don't know if you even knew this, uh, go through using the console and identifying what is not using an HTTPS connection or what's loading uh, by way of insecure practices. And based on that, you may discover it's likely an extension. Uh, and if it's not, you may want to contact the site owner and say, hey, uh, you got some mixed content here and, and Google Chrome ain't liking it. And that's actually a good thing. You would rather have the entire session encrypted uh, than uh, half in, half out. It's, it's generally safer. Uh, it's, it's, it's the way to go. So go through the console as we've outlined in the link. Feel free to share the link if you know of any, anybody else who uses Google Chrome. And if you don't use Google Chrome, that's fine. I'm not saying you have to. Uh, OX14JF says you can on Opera as well. I, you know, I never really liked Opera. I wasn't really a fan. Explorer is not. I use IE9. It is fast. Chrome is slow like Firefox and Opera, says cool Mario dude. Um, IE9 is fast because of the optimizations that Microsoft has made. They have done an amazing job. I would say Safari on Mac OS X is as fast as IE9 is on Windows. Just FYI. I'm hoping that Google Chrome is going to work on optimization at some point. Hopefully make it easier for you to troubleshoot some of these issues uh, that you see the insecure content thing that they got going on there. At least now you, the power is in your hands. We're very happy to have created this uh, bit of help for you. If you have any questions that we might be able to address in a future article, drop me a line. Chris at Perillo.com. We're always looking for good article ideas. That could then turn into videos here on YouTube.